Okay, 58. If you look on number 58, there's a ball connected to a rubber band that's being swung in a horizontal circle. The ball has this velocity, the rubber band has this K value, and the mass is this. They're saying that ostensibly this ball is horizontal in, in its circular motion, so that's why I've, this T is horizontal. Um, in order to find the tension, all I need to do is use mv squared over r. All right, so after we've done that, now they say for part B, take gravity into consideration. So if I do a force diagram with gravity, you'll see now gravity pulls down and the tension, uh, the Y component of the tension has to match the gravity. The X component of the tension is the same as in part A. So I just take the answer for part A, plug it in, and then include the weight of, of the mass here, and I see that I have essentially no effect. Uh, so it doesn't matter whether we... Now we go on to part C. What if I increase the speed of, the, of the, the ball moving in a circle? Well, if we do that, we have to realize that the, the speed... In, or, in order to maintain the ball at a certain speed, that requires a tension. That tension requires a force to be applied in the rubber band. As we increase the speed, more tension occurs in the rubber band. And we use Hooke's Law on the left side. We use... Uh, the centripetal force equation on the right side and that allows us to see in order for us to increase the speed what is that going to do to X or what's it going to do to the rubber band well we know we're going to change the rubber band X so then the original rubber band length from part A was 0.5 so the new one is 0.5 plus X and we can solve this equation for our final answer